What's up my friend, welcome back to another video. And today we are doing a little bit of a shout out for Audio Imperia's Flourish series. Um, essentially, if you are familiar with Audio Imperia, they release a lot of orchestral libraries with some sound design elements, but in between they've been releasing these Flourish libraries that are these really small niche sort of libraries that come and go, and they're each about $39, I believe. So the one that I wanted to take a look at today was uh, called Tempest, and it's basically like an ear candy sort of one-shot TikTok rhythms library that you can use in your productions. And I wanted to take a look at this one in particular because for me practically, I would be using this sort of thing as ear candy in maybe my pop songs or things like that. So there's definitely an application there for me. Um, do keep in mind that though, these because these libraries are relatively affordable, um, they do not run in the free contact player. So you probably you will need the full version of contact to run those. Um, so yes, today we're take just taking a quick look at Tempest and uh, maybe you wanna keep up with the Flourish series in the future. So if there is something that comes up that they're producing here that um, you, you're, you're considering using in the future, but maybe you're not so sure, it might be a worthwhile investment just to pick it up anyway, because who knows, you might, you might use it, right? In your music. So let's kind of dive in. Let me just play through the library a little bit. I'll go through these patches. There's eight in total. My favorites are absolutely like the TikTok ones, the ones that have those high clickety clacks. And of course it is tempo synced. So right now my DAW is at 130 BPM which means that everything is going to be at 130 BPM, these loops, these um, things like that. And uh, this first patch here, you can see there's this little keyboard icon in the bottom left, which just means that if I play one of these, it's gonna play one of those loops, right? And then as I play up or down on the keyboard, it's gonna activate another one of these loops. So what if I wanna change the pitch of any one of these, right? because right now these are all mapped to a C. So then I can click on this keyboard and now it's taking that one sample, the one loop that we are playing, but now it's pitch shifted to whatever note I play. So high G, a high B, a low G, a low C, right? So that this option there with the with the tonal rhythmics, you can just alternate there. So you choose the loop that you want by you know testing out the different ones. And once you found that you like, then you can click this to choose whatever pitch you want to, okay? And then there's, yeah, there's all these other ones that were listed there on the keyboard. So there's the tonal rhythmics. Um, let's hear some of the atonal rhythmics now. Um, I believe this tonal rhythmics is the only one with that keyboard patch. Let me just take a look. Yeah, looks like it, okay? So yeah, let's go down to the atonal rhythmics and see what we get. Now, something like this, the kinetic drums, super like clickety clacky, like that that type of thing I really, really love. Because for me, it, it is a pain sometimes to program ear candy specifically in a lot of songs. So this will save me so much time. You'll notice that some of these loops are tonal though, actually. Like this one's playing a C. So you could always just, you know, record it into your DAW, but then just grab it and pitch shift it, like turn it into an audio file and then pitch shift it if you want to. So you're not completely locked in there. Uh, let's move on to the TikToks. Now these ones I'm, I'm excited about. There's the street rhythms and the triplet rhythms. So let's just hear some of these.
<laughs> so cool. So many little possibilities there. And I just, of course, love that it's tempo sync. So it's super flexible in that regard. And of course, again, if you, if you uh, want to chop up the sample a little bit, you can always record it, uh, switch to audio, and then do it from there because I'm not sure if there's a way to affect the actual sample itself within this interface here. Um, but anyway, let's go to the triplet rhythm. Let's hear a few of those as well. That's pretty cool. Like this one, I could I could definitely envision maybe uh, if someone is like breathing down your neck and kind of that sort of driving suspenseful type of scene, you might want to use that sort of rhythm there. Um, okay, let's hear some of these loops here. Okay, then we have the TikToks bonus loops. And then finally, the TikTok one shots as well. So yeah, this might seem like a really weird thing to cover on this channel, but hey, th this is something that sparks my interest. And I've, trust me, I've been on the look for, you know, one shots before, uh, like ear candy purposes, things that help me basically create loops really quickly. And I'm sure there are libraries out there, but seeing this all available in one package and having just this variety available to us is really, really cool. And I think for 39 bucks, if this is something you might be interested in, I think it really is a no brainer. Uh, big thanks again to Audio Imperia for uh, 
helping the channel out uh, for for sending me a copy for review. But I I, I did want to kind of just share that you know AI is doing this kind of flourish series, and so we don't really know what's going to come next. Uh, but you know when this one came out, I was definitely interested, and I wanted to share it with you just so it's this this series is kind of on your radar. It's called Flourish. This library in particular is called Tempest. Um, just so just so you know. Um, it is available. And of course, they have their regular catalog with the orchestral libraries, the sound design libraries. But this is kind of something that's, a, I guess, a little side passion project, you can call it. So yeah, definitely keep up with that. If at any point you want to check out my sample library recommendations for the orchestral stuff, like the big libraries, even the smaller niche ones that I usually use on a regular basis, do check out my sample library buyer's guide. It's an absolutely free guide that you can uh, download quickly in the description box below. It's um, It basically organizes everything that I use. I've also listed the prices and how I personally use them, how I recommend using them. And uh, you can keep that as a buyer's guide. So when uh, maybe you're on the market for a new sample library, you're interested in knowing my thoughts about it and seeing if it's in there, you can definitely uh, open that up and um, you can read it through pretty quickly. It's, it is multiple pages. There's uh, plenty of chapters there, but it's super digestible, very compact, and you can read it uh, whenever you have the time. So again, you can check that out for free. Just click the first link in the box below. And it'll take you straight there where you can grab it as my gift to you. So thank you again for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. And it'll probably be another sample library uh, video, but we'll see. Take care. Bye, guys.